kicking things off with the hit single Love Is. Please give it up for Vanessa Williams and Brian McKnight. Shining to the edge of the universe It conquers all It changes everything They say it's a blessing They say it's a gift They say it's a miracle And I believe that it is You're gonna sing something alone later for the ladies, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. What you gonna do? One last cry. Cool, cool. Um, Isn't he great? <laughs> oh, he's unbelievable. He came here one night and he stayed all night mm -hmm. and did everything. <laughs> it, boy, it's bad. How did you all hook up? 
He's on the same label, and um, I think I'd finished working with the first album. Right. It was on the second. He was like 18 years old at a... <laughs> you were right out of college, right? Yeah, I was in Huntsville, Alabama in school, and uh, she was working with Keith Thomas down in Nashville, so I went down to sing some backgrounds on some things. So they gave me a track that they wanted her to sing a duet on, so I wrote that and co-produced it, and mm -hmm. we sang on her last record, and then we did this one. Yeah, yeah. And you're like 23 now? Yeah, we're 24 this year. And you're producing for all kind of people. There's some other names like Vesta, Vesta and... and uh, I finished some stuff for Philip Bailey and Damian Hall was an ex-member of Guy. Yeah. So. And Philip Bailey, of course, of Earth, Wind and Fire fame. Mm -hmm. That's great, man. I'm happy for you. Okay. And I'm happy for you, mommy. Uh, can you believe it? Two more months to go. <laughs> Your husband said <laughs> that you are eating everything. <laughs> Well, you know, it's that, that third trimester thing. He even you know, said, you know how no, most people don't want to eat airline food? She even ate the hard roll and the peanuts on the plane. You know? I, you know, I must admit. But, uh, yeah, got a big old boy, though. Oh, I you thought, know already? Yeah, I got a boy. After two girls, so we were going to have a nice little rounded family, and now I can stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got one of everything now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Have you uh, thought about names yet? Uh, we haven't been able to decide. We're not doing Ramon the Third, though, so that's that's canceled. But um, it's boys' names are hard because you want it to be unusual, but you want it to be like macho, but not too. It's uh, it's tough. So if you have any suggestions, throw them wow. right over here. I think Brian and Arsenio are great names. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> King Rose. Uh, we saw you on that on that. Uh, speaking of Oprah, that Oprah Prime Time special, and I think your girls were in the shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What are they thinking about? the whole uh, baby situation. Oh, they love it. They're, really? Yeah, yeah. And my, they understand it? They understand it. I bought them that Nova tape, you know, that they watched, like, Conception and stuff, so they're, they couldn't understand the sperm, you know, these fish <laughs> from Dad. They didn't quite understand <laughs> that, that concept. It was a little too out there for them. But uh, um, they, they're excited, and they want to help me and hold my hand through the whole thing. I don't know whether they'll be allowed in the delivery room, but uh, they're into it. Are you going to videotape it? I don't know. I, haven't, I didn't do the other two. But uh, I don't know. That's a trip. Because people do that, and I always wonder who you're going to show that to. <laughs> you know? Here's my wife in stirrups. <laughs> you know? What kind of home video is that? You know? <laughs> like, come by any time. <laughs> you know? Check it out. <laughs> this is an incredible lady. Um, I'm not going to even go through the list of all the awards that she's um, got at home and everything. What makes her so incredible, so successful from a musician's standpoint. Well, she's just great to work with. And she's willing to do whatever she has Ryan, to do to, uh, <laughs> to get the job done. And there's no egos. We just go in there and it's work. That's why people always ask me, well, what's it like? You know, she's so beautiful. It, all that's kind of, you know that, but when you get in there, she's just a pleasure to work with. All that's put aside. I mean, you just do what you got to do. Because you're like, you, you know, you're like married and you're mommy mm -hmm. and you're not caught up in the mix and the controversy of Hollywood. So I don't think people realize that nobody sells records like you. Nobody has more Grammys and, and Image Awards. Well, I don't have a Grammy yet. I'm oh, oh, hopefully you got the, the nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully yeah. this year. Oh, You're going to win. Well, I got four nominations, so hopefully I get one out of four. We'll it's going to happen this time. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes. You, know, you always wonder whether, you know, being a mother and, and doing all that is in or out. I mean, I just read in Us magazine that I was out this year, so I don't know whether that's being a mother and being normal means that you're not hip, you know what I mean? But wait, ain't Us magazine out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, come on now. <laughs> you never know, you know? Do you have uh, one of the American Music Awards? No, I, I was nominated for three. Didn't get one of those. Three of those? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be watching Grammy night. Well, so I'm performing, so doing, mm. doing the old Save the Best for Last. So it's, it was nominated for uh, Song of the Year and Record of the Year. So we'll, uh, but, you know, Eric Clapton's nominated for nine. Yeah, and his and album is so, bad. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the, Katie Lang, I mean, I'm up against Annie Lennox. I mean, really, really incredible talent that have been out there for years. So I'm, I'm honored to be, you know, against the divas, so to speak. I mean, last year was Patti LaBelle, yeah. Gladys Knight. I mean, you know, Aretha. Just being in the midst of those women is, was wonderful. See, I, I know it, it sounds cliche-ish and everything, but it's like when you're in the category with Patty and, mm -hmm. and Katie Lang, Katie right. Lang is a gift from God, exactly. you know? She I mean, blow. there's no losing. Right. You don't lose when right. you're in that group. Exactly. But, uh, like, if you was in a group in some, you know, I mean, well, I won't mention no names. <laughs> but, uh, but, no, you, uh -huh. you ain't great company. What makes a great song? 
For me, melody line, if the music uh, makes me, if I can sing it again after the first time, the hook, you know, if I remember the hook, and then for me, secondary is the lyrics, because mm -hmm. I, I like the music first and then listen to the lyrics. But, you know, for instance, like Save the Best for Last, the lyrics are so beautiful and the music was so complimentary. I mean, I was almost in tears just listening to how poignant the song was. So, I mean, that's one of those, you know, once in a lifetime kind of deals. But it's hard to find good music that goes with your personality, that people want to, can visualize you singing. And, um, you know, that's why I take a lot of time. I'm working on my new album now and I've, I've done two. Uh, two songs, but I'm, you know, obviously taking a break yeah. right now, getting, you know, finished with my business and then go back in the studio and, and really work hard. When you're pregnant, does it affect your singing? Can you, can you sit? It affects my energy. I mean, I can, four hours is my limit, you know, even sitting in a chair because it's just so exhausting and my diaphragm is up here so I can't breathe that as, as well as I usually do. But, yeah. uh, so I think that's affected. Well, we're going to be watching the Grammys and we're going to be pulling for you. Oh, thank you. And, um, uh, you're going to stick around. Stick around. OK. Y'all hold him, because we want to hear him sing, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Leslie Nielsen next.